When I was about 15, I actually came up here on a family holiday with my parents and did uh, 12 days camping. So I went all the way up to the Coburg Peninsula and then through Kakadu and then back to Darwin. And uh, my parents can still remember me turning to them and going, I want to be a tour guide in the Northern Territory. When they do come together like this, it's normally... Uh, what I do here on Swim Creek Station is I more or less train tour guides. So, been on this property for about two and a half years. Yesterday we picked up 18 students from Darwin and we have them for the next 28 days. I guess love of the bush, love of being outside, love of nature. Through this position I actually get to share that with people. I can, when I was a tour guide that was the most rewarding aspect of my work, actually getting to show people uh, the bush. For me the territory uh, is I guess an incredible concentration of different ecosystems. I think that's why it's particularly exciting for me. I mean, I can be in Darwin on you know a tidal estuary mud crabbing and looking at, I guess, mangrove dependent birds. And then two hours later, I can be racing around on a floodplain on an airboat looking for wetland specific animals, you know. And then I can hop in my car and I can drive another two hours down the road and I can be in the Arnhem Land escarpment. And then I can go you know, another half a day travel and I can be sitting in the desert. I think for that, that for me is exciting because it changes so much in such a really small period of time. And the reason why I enjoy living in the Northern Territory is because I think everyone has a different outlook on life. Everyone actually has a chance to stop and have a chat to people. Uh, in Sydney, it's just a rat race. Everyone's so driven by, uh, you know, what they want to do. Uh, you know, the traffic, uh, work, the weather, all that kind of thing. Up here, everyone actually slows down steps, I guess steps back, has a chance to talk to everyone, and I guess everyone seems to be a whole lot more relaxed as well. I think the Northern Territory is one of those uh, places where you truly still can go get lost, if that makes sense. I mean, there's some spots you can go to where people haven't been for a couple of years and there's fantastic experiences to be to be had here uh, so yeah I just encourage everyone to come along and have a look and see if they can all go get lost. Mm -hmm.